January was a hard month. It was a period of thinking I knew everything and quickly realizing I need to rethink everything. I started the year by hitting the ground running. I had goals, I had plans, I had six month plans, personal and professional work, and it was all so good in theory. But there is one little constraint that I didn't take into consideration. I can't cheat time. Before we get into this, this year I'm going to be doing short monthly recaps, which is information that I learned this last month, books I've read, design lessons I've learned, and anything else that I find interesting. And as always, if you are interested in tech, lifestyle, productivity, or design videos, then please take a second to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then go check out some of my other videos like my most recent one, Stop Failing at Your Goals, which is great if you're trying to kickstart your new year. There is an unofficial term I use to describe my archetype. I'm a moon shooter. It means someone who is always dreaming big and constantly looking for opportunities, but gets so distracted by the abundance of dreams that they have a hard time focusing in building one thing. This is me. I am the queen of starting projects. To counteract this, I've had to train myself to say no to new shiny opportunities and follow through on very specific dreams. Even though I know this about myself, I still get so excited about the possibility of a new cool thing. This January, I fell victim to this yet again. Now I'm taking a step back and trying to think of how to align what I'm doing with my long-term goals and saying no to everything else. So my main takeaway from January is don't try to do everything at once because you only have 24 hours in a day. Books I've read. Books that I would highly recommend are Hidden Potential by Adam Grant and How to Know a Person by David Brooks. Hidden Potential was an amazing book filled with psychology and case studies to rethink what makes a successful person. And How to Know a Person is a great read for anyone who wants to improve their communication. Because shockingly, we all suck at this. In the book, David Brooks writes that we only understand a stranger's emotion about 20% of the time, and we only understand a close friend and family's emotions 35% of the time. I don't know about you, but I find that very low. Design learnings. As a product designer, something I learned this past month is to not be afraid of iterating. I have the tendency to form an idea and just want to create a solution immediately. But working in a creative field doesn't work like that. Web and app designing is really interesting because you need to compare the artistic vision of a design with the real life constraints of what stakeholders are asking for while keeping the design consistent with other parts of the app. Upcoming videos. I won't go into too much detail, but I have some videos about communication, interviewing, and research pieces involving crypto, multi-level marketing, and the BlackBerry phone on the horizon. I am making no promises about which one is coming out next, but if you have any cool stories about multi-level marketing schemes, crypto, or the BlackBerry phone, comment them below. Maybe I can include them in the next videos. Other interesting things. You know it's a fantastic way to spend a Friday evening at Second City Improv. My inner high school self was dying watching this group. Dying because of happiness, to be clear. The shows that are put on in Toronto are absolutely phenomenal. I love improv and I love the rule of yes and. What is yes and? Well, let me tell you. It means when you're doing improv, you can't shut the conversation down by saying no. You instead need to respond back with something another person can riff off of called leaving a doorknob. It's actually a skill that a lot of professionals recommend people try if they're trying to become a better communicator. I hope you guys enjoyed my January recap. What did you learn in this past month and what are you trying to accomplish in February? I'll see you guys in the next video.